Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. What we have here, this solution we have a times a, which can be written as a squared. At this same thing, also multiplying here, we have a raised to the power x or square, then equals to 48 from here. And also here, this follows the law of indices. And we have a raised to the power m raised to the power n, which can be written as a raised to the power mn. That is, this power multiplies, and we have a raised to the power 2x equals to 48 from here. Then, next step here, we take the log on both sides. That is, we have log. It's raised to the power 2x equals to log 48 from here. Then, next step, we apply the power law of logarithm. When we have log m raised to the power p, this is the same thing as p log m. That is, here yeah, we have 2x log 8 equals to log 48 from here. The next step, we divide both sides by log 8. That is, divide this side by log 8. Also divide this side by log 8, which implies log 8 cancel each other here. Yeah? We have 2x left, which is equals to log 48 over log 8. Then from here, 48 can be expressed as 8 times 6, which implies what we have becomes 2x equals to log 8 times 6 over log 8. Then from here, this follows the law of logarithm. When we have log a times b, the same thing as log a plus log b. That is, yeah, this becomes 2x equals to log 8 plus log 6 all over log 8. Then here also we separate this into two fractions and we have 2x equals to log 8 over log 8 plus log 6 over log 8. Then from here, log 8 cancel each other here, yeah? and we have 1 left, which implies 2x equals to 1 plus log 6 over log 8. Then also from here, we can express 6 as 2 times 3, which implies what we have becomes 2x equals to 1 plus log 2 times 3 over log 8. That is, this. Yeah, this also follows the law of logarithm and this becomes 2x equals to 1 plus log 2 plus log 3 over log 8. Then, here yeah, also we separate this into two fractions. We have 2x equals to 1 plus log 2 over log 8 plus log 3 over log 8. Then, next step here, we can express 8 as 2 times 2 times 2, which is 3 to the power 3. That is, what we have becomes 2x equals to 1 plus log 2 over log 2 raised to the power 3 plus log 3 over log 2 raised to the power 3. 
And from here, we apply the power law of logarithm. That is 3 comes here. And also from here, all we have becomes 2x equals to 1 plus log 2 over 3 log 2 and plus. Also here we have log 3 over 3 log 2. Then from here, we have log 2 cancelled each other here yeah? and 1 over 3 left. That is 2x equals to 1 plus 1 over 3 then plus. Also here yeah, can be written as 1 over 3 log 3 over log 2. That is here yeah, when we apply change of base from when we have log a over log b. It's same thing as log a to base b. That is, yeah, all we have becomes 2x equals to 1 plus 1 over 3, same thing as 4 over 3, then plus, here we have 1 over 3, log 3 to base 2 now. Then, next step, we can bring this together as one fraction, and we have 2x equals to, the SCM here is 3, and this remains 4. Plus here remain log three is two, and also here remove this two here, multiply both side by half, multiply this side also by half. Here two cancel each other. We have x left, which is equals to four plus log three base two divided by here we have 3 times 2 now, which is 6. So here we have the value of x in this problem as 4 plus log 3 base 2 all over 6. Then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem. That is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 4 plus log. 3 base 2 all over 6. Then what we have here now becomes 8 raised to the power 4 plus log 3 base 2 over 6 also times 8 raised to the power 4 plus log 3 base 2 all over 6. Is it equals to 48 on this side? Then, from what we have here, we have same base multiplying follows. When we have a raised to the power m times a raised to the power, also the same power m. This same thing as a raised to the power m plus m, which is 2 times m. That is, here also we can write this as a raised to the power 2 times 4 plus log 3 base 2 over 6. Then, is equal to 48. On this side, then here, since this power multiplies 2 year 1 and 2 year 3, and we are having 8 raised to power 4 plus log 3 base 2 over 3 is equal to 48 from here. Then, what we have now also we can write it as 2 raised to power 3. Which is raised to power 4 plus log 3 base 2 over 3 is it equals to 48 on this side. Then from here also this power multiplies and 3 here comes each other. We will have 4 raised to power 2 raised to power 4 plus log 3 base 2 is it equals to 48 on this side. Then this follows the law of indices when we have a raised to power m plus n, which is the same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n. That is, here we have 2 raised to power 4 times 2 raised to power log 3 base 2. Is it equals to 48 on this side? 2 raised to power 4 to multiply itself 4 times. So that's 16, then times. Here follows when we have a raised to power log b. To base a which is equals to b at this here we have three 
is it equals to 48 here? Yeah. Then 16 times 3 give us 48, which is equals to 48 here. Yeah. Now the left hand side is equals to the right hand side. Hence here we conclude that x equals to 4 plus log 3 base 2 all over 6 satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video. Give a thumbs up and put your comments. See you next class and bye for now.